This is how to process images with reflections using Starry Landscape Stacker version 1.9. I'm going to start by loading up these images here, which are courtesy of Adam Woodworth. He's been nice enough to let me use these images to illustrate Starry Landscape Stacker. There's a link to his website at the end of this video. So we start as we normally would. We come up and uh, get our red dots indicating roughly where the sky is. We have two red dots here in the reflection, so we'll just get rid of those. We'll find the sky. We will align and compose. We will minimize the noise as a default. We'll save the current image, and I'm going to add something to this. I'm going to say dash sky. All right, let me say save. Now we're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to delete the mask. We're going to switch to no dots. Um, switch to painting sky or red dots. We're going to run a row of red dots all along the edge here. We want to mark the reflection of the sky as sky. There's something here in the corner. I don't know if that's, oops, let's do it the easy way. Click there, shift click, shift click. Okay, I don't know if that's a reflection of a tree, if it's a rock or something, so we're going to try and leave that out of the mask. That looks pretty good in the corner here. And let me see, I want to zoom in on this. That looks okay. I'm using the O key to toggle here. I'm worried that we might be a bit tight here. We're getting some trees or reflections of trees marked as, um, as sky and that's not good. So we're going to tidy that up a little bit. There's no real stars there so we can be a bit like that. That should be okay. Let's do we have, yeah, we can go here. Just toggling with the O key here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, turn that back on. I'll align and composite. Okay, now we've got uh, all of our stars in the reflection aligned, nice and tight. Uh, so that looks pretty good for the reflection. Of course, the sky is now terrible, but that's fine because we're going to save this current image and we're going to say, get my microphone cable out of the way, dash reflection. And we'll save that. And now we can take these two images, the sky and the reflection, into uh, an image editing tool like Photoshop and blend the two together so that we take the sky from the sky image, the reflection from the reflection image, and the stuff in between can be from either or can be a third image, uh, say a long exposure with a low ISO that we shot separately. So again, these images are courtesy of Adam Woodworth and here's a link to his website. And for more information on Starry Landscape Stacker, here's a link.